the 16th and 17th of July, 42, they arrested 13,000 Jews. Put them in the Velodrome Hiver in inhuman conditions. No beds, no toilets, barely any water, and not one image exists. Weird. I mean, they documented everything, the Nazis. That's what they were known for. Mike. This was not the Germans, it was the French. Sarah's key to my heart. I love Christian Scott Thomas, man. It Do you? A, why? It be, because I just remember her being hot and graffiti and, 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 bridge. And graffiti bridge. <laughs> graffiti, <laughs> it wasn't graffiti bridge, it was under the cherry moon. Under the cherry moon, yes. Are you Prince serious? Mm. Yeah. You like someone based on the, a, a Prince movie from the early 90s that wasn't even it's a not good even movie? Not even the early 90s, I'm talking about <laughs> 80s. <laughs> oh, was that that 80s? Now, now, to be fair, it's like the one time you saw her as like kind of a fun-loving hot chick. Yeah. Everything else I've seen her in, she's been like a middle-aged, stiff, Harpy. ivory... Ivory Merchant Ivory yeah. just like stuck up and you know what the thing is as much as I like a lot of things about Sarah's Key she's the worst part about it uh, in really? a lot of ways yeah she oh. really is and it's I'm shame. sorry guys I'm still like blown away that you guys remember that second fucking Prince movie that I think even he forgot about <laughs> you, know <laughs> what? you know what, you know what? It, it, it's a masterpiece compared to Graffiti Bridge oh, yeah. he made after that. <laughs> and by the way Under the Cherry Moon is a horrible fucking film <laughs> yeah. horrible yeah, it's like, wow. it's, Prince, I think he directed that, and yeah. he should not even be allowed to even own like a Kodak disposable camera. <laughs> no, yeah. I think he went into hiding after. after, after but, uh, it does have a great soundtrack, but that's the first time Christian Scott Thomas was. Uh, she was introduced to the to the public eye. Wow, and and, and and I guess I really like her. I mean, I, I I've always thought she was a beautiful older woman, but. None of you guys saw Nowhere Boy, did you? No. Mm. Yeah, she, where well, she played John Lennon's aunt I saw it. in that movie. Oh, yeah, that's right. Sorry, I thought you saw yeah, it. Yeah, I actually really liked the movie, but she didn't blow me away in she it. She didn't? No. I loved her in that movie. I thought she was okay, but she was not the strongest part okay, of Okay, you know what? And, and after the horse whisperer, I'm like, I don't oh, ever need to see her again. I, I, wow. know, well, come on, and man. English patient. And do I need to just go down her resume? <laughs> Come on now, you know I didn't see the English patient, but yeah. the horse whisper you can't you can't blame her for that. I mean, a horse whisper you expecting to go in and see a guy talking to a horse, and it's about uh, Robert Redford trying to fuck some marriage. There's no Damn. motherfucking yeah. horse whispering yeah. in the movie. Yeah. <laughs> I was ripped off. Actually, oh, wow. <laughs> you said it's about uh, Robert Redford trying to fuck some married chick, but no, it's about a married chick try, trying to fuck Robert yeah. Redford. Uh, Actually, and was, she's that married chick. There was a horse whispering that movie. It was the horse sitting next to me like, let's get the fuck out of here. This is shitty, isn't it? Wow. I, I'm amazed. No, I, not, I have not, not I have not seen any of these. <laughs> <laughs> I have not seen any of these. I haven't seen any of these goddamn movies you guys are talking about with this chick. Oh, yeah. Wow. No, yeah is there anything? Is oh, there? Was she in anything big that That I was made? the phase where you didn't see anything that wasn't a cartoon. No. I, a I, I mean, you know, look, look, English Patient is a big movie. It, it won the Oscar, but it is one when you watch it, you go like, Really? People were in love with this? Yeah, and that's mm. one of those ones that you were like, wait, why did this win the Oscar? Wait a minute, how is 25 years a phase? I'm going back. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, admit, I saw The English Patient on, on DVD. I just bought it because I was like, everybody says this is good. And I, I, it's good for taking a nap, too, because I yeah. sleep <laughs> on the couch, and I never sleep on the Good bed. for returning you know that what? shit. And here, she's like, all right, so this is a film that split into two different time periods. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, 1942, I believe, yeah. is when yeah, you know, first part. Nazi occupation of Europe. Of, of France. Yeah, yeah, of France, Europe. Paris, specifically. Yeah. And uh, modern day, or at least 2009, anyway, right. is what it says it is. Uh, uh, and Kristen Scott Thomas is the one who's in modern day, and she is an investigative reporter that's trying to find out information about, like, this some fucked up shit that happened in Paris with the French themselves, not the Nazis, mind you, the French themselves gathered up all the Jews in their city because, like, a lot of people, we don't like to talk about this, but nobody liked Jews in the 1940s, okay? Like, it was, like, one of those, like, yeah, the Nazis are the one who's like, hey, man, you took it too far. You, you, yeah. you ruined it for everybody. Yeah, but I don't like Jews either, but I, I don't want to kill them. Well, no, 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 no. Yeah, you say that the yeah. Nazis took it too far, but in this movie, you learn that the, the French took it too far, too. Yeah. You're, like, you're like, wow, man, y'all have been just kind of, like, letting the Nazis take all the heat all these decades well, without, without coming forward mm-hmm. and going, like, Oh yeah, we kind of did that too. Now was, we know well, the they truth. Were, they weren't <laughs> the only people. I mean, there was stuff with America where there was a whole boatload of them right outside the shores of New York. We refused to let them land. We said, "Nope, they are not coming here." Hey, we had enough people already. That's that. That's not <laughs> <So> basically <laughs> back saying. then, the French were even bigger assholes than we <laughs> pretty much. Heard yeah, them oh yeah, to be. yeah. They're mm-hmm. even more pretentious, if you can believe that. <laughs> but they, they basically gather up all these Jews and they put them in this uh, big stadium and left them there for like yeah. weeks. Yeah, like, well, where like they were dying. Wow, sorry. 
laugh at that, but wow, that's Katrina, fucked up. With everybody in the Superdome, yeah. this was 10 times worse. Yeah, that's wow. exactly Damn. the terms they use in the yeah. film. It's like 10 times worse than that. Because uh, they're like sleeping in their own shit and piss, and it's Man. fucking horrible. People just I've done that. suicide. Like, people like begging, like, please, like, where can I go to the bathroom? And they're like, right over there against that wall where everybody's shitting and pissing. So, mm. so anyway, some water. Yeah. Fuck you. Here's a rifle butt to the head. There's your water. <laughs> so we're yeah, seeing you, see, you see where you piss? You get the water right there, yeah. too. We're seeing Kristen Scott Thomas, who's trying to sell this idea as like you know an expose article to, to her, the, the magazine she works for, saying, look, I, I think I have an angle on this. I think I found out something about this family that was involved there, and I want to try and track them down. And it keeps flashing back and forth from her in modern day, you know, trying to track the information to going back to 1942 and seeing the family of this little girl. Uh, I'm not sure what the name of the, the actress is who, who uh, played her. Uh, what was it? Do you remember her name? In the I, film? I, I never knew her name. So, I didn't find out what it was. Uh, uh, well, Sarah was her name. Yeah, I'm sorry. The, movie, yeah. the, the character's name is Sarah. Yeah. Me, uh, I'm not getting, I'm not even trying to say her name. Melusine. Okay. Was well, my, uh, my this little girl uh, who, uh, when their family was yanked out of their house, yeah. she took her littlest brother, very young brother and locked him in sort of this sort of in invisible, Closet, like closet a, secret closet it's, thing. It's wallpapered it's like, over so you can't tell. Yeah, flush with the wall and says, stay here. We'll send some. Don't make any noise. And so this whole time she's freaking out going, I've got to send somebody. You know, I've got the key to this to come let my brother out. Uh, and, you know, it just gets worse and worse. And it's going back and forth and you follow and you see a little bit more of her story. I mean, it's the point early on. It's already been weeks and she's yeah. still like, someone's got to go let my brother out. <laughs> yeah, and Jesus. we're like, you know, you just want to go, honey, come here. We got to talk. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you got to pull outside and say, you know, sweetheart, have you ever heard the expression skeletons in the closet? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, you're you going expect to open scary. it up. It's going to look like <laughs> the, the Looney Tunes cartoons. It's like it's going to roll out. Well, <laughs> well, now, the, the thing about Kristen, Kristen Scott, Scott Thomas is that she's living in Paris. Like she's doing a story. But she's married to a Frenchman. They have a kid, and she finds out she's pregnant after she couldn't get pregnant before. Mm-hmm. Her and yeah. her husband are starting to have troubles because he works all the time. She's suddenly like, after not being able to get pregnant, she's pregnant, and he doesn't want the baby. Yeah, he's Ooh. like, look, I, I wanted to get pregnant eight or nine years ago. Yeah, but since so she couldn't, I got over it, and I don't want it to. Now. Yeah, now I'm busy. I got all this shit going on. I don't want to be an old dad. Right. Yeah. So, and, Can't blame and now, now to compound all this is the discovery that – the this apartment that they're about to move into that his family owns turns out like this is where that girl and or if it wasn't her like some other you know Jewish family was there got kicked out well actually no this was the apartment yeah this was the apartment apartment that where her brother was locked in the wall yeah so Mm. she she finds all this out apparently this has been like some big family secret that only this guy's dad knew and had been just keeping Uh, to himself yeah uh, and so as it's going on and she's finding out more about the story she's having to talk to her uh, you know her husband's family and they are like, look, please, let's not talk about this. It's just, can you please go away now? <laughs> if, I'm, if I'm right, this is her job, right? To, yeah, like, to yeah. do this, to do this story. Yeah. And yeah. so this, it's pretty much uh, well, her, I mean, her, her, work, her, her life and this story collide in probably the most like, awkward way. <laughs> pretty awkward way, to say the least. The biggest problem with her part of the story is that you never really like her. You're like, okay, it's an interesting story. I can see why anyone would want to follow Talk it up. Talk about the journalist, ChristenStock. Yeah, yeah, but Thomas. she's like such an utter bitch to her husband in almost every well, scene they're yeah, together. She's pregnant. Her hormones are flying off the wall. And that whole thing of him like saying like, I, I, I just rather you go get an abortion. Yeah, that was a that's, bad that's, call. That's, that's super harsh. That was a bad call. I mean, it, there's a lot of emotions, a lot of shit going on. I didn't blame her so much. And yet, you never really endeared to her. They, yeah. I, I mean, you know what? I didn't have a problem with her, like not even liking her character so much. What I didn't like is that the story of Sarah, like, you know, this young kid, she's like, you know, the family is separated, then she's separated from her mom, and then she's escaping, trying to get back to save her brother, all she has to go through, her life, all that shit is fascinating, you know. Yeah. It is all during the, uh, well, I guess when the French are rounding him up. And- yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, at this point, like, we're already past that, where she got brought to a a pre concentration camp. Right. Like she's in a camp, but it's not one of the really yeah, yeah, bad yeah, ones. That, like right at, at that time, they're like in a camp uh-huh. before you go. They're like, yeah. I heard about them people, them taking the people to Auschwitz. Uh-huh. They might do that with us next. So they aren't, they aren't, they aren't there yet. Wow. So basically, you're saying all the story, emotion, and danger. Is in the period piece of the story. Yes. That, that Where the fuck is Captain America during all this? Did <laughs> <I know, right? laughs> he go over there and end all that <laughs> be shit? Everywhere. Oh, damn yeah. it. Exactly. That wasn't on his well, map. I, actually, I, think, I think about this time he was getting his ass kicked in the back alley holding up a. Uh, <laughs> right. Right. Holding up trash cans. Yeah. Yeah. There's only one Captain America, as we know. They fucked up. Uh, they dropped <laughs> the serum. Right. That was it. But, damn Nazis. You know, uh, 
it, they could have just told the 1942 yes. story and it would have been a really gripping film. I mean, the little girl who plays Sarah, wow, she is intense. Yeah, I mean, this girl's like got the, she's got the creepy eyes and you're yeah. just like, she is so haunted and she's just racked with guilt. I mean, her survival instinct isn't even for herself. Her survival instinct is for a brother that, you know, as audience members, just reasonable people, either he got out already or he's dead. Yeah. <laughs> and, 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 you know, like, if it ain't enough to where you, like, you, you think you feel sorry for her, her dad loses at one point. It's like, it's your fault. You should have locked him in there. You're like, Hey man, you know, I mean, I know you're upset, but you need to back off. Yeah, come on, slow your roll. You're giving Christian Scott Thomas a break for hormones. I'm gonna give him a break for being locked inside of a a fucking big sweaty cauldron. (laughs) No, no, but I mean, but I, you know, I mean, you know, everybody's upset. The thing is, to me, what this suffered from was the Julie and Julia syndrome, Mm -hmm. where you know, like the the movie about Julia Child was fascinating and great on its own. I didn't even hear about Julie as a framing device to bring me from my time into it. It was That was the real story. It wasn't that that other story was terrible in both these cases. Yeah. It's just it, that it felt so unnecessary. It felt so lesser. It Every time it goes back to the Christian Stock, Scott Thomas story, you're just impatient to get back to 1942. Yeah. And as the movie goes on, unfortunately, it's more and more of her story and less and less of Sarah's story. By the way, mm-hmm. Leon... Christian Scott Thomas character name in this is Julia. <laughs> Coincidence? So, so maybe, so maybe it's I'm going to connection here. I don't know. Uh-huh. I mean, yeah, uh-huh. yeah, 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 right. there's, a, there's a point, as Cyrus mentions, there's a point where it, we just, it, which it becomes more about following her and her making the connection to that. Uh-huh. And when it finally plays out, it's just kind of like, Oh well, okay. Yeah. Uh, good, good for you. I mean, it's so <laughs> be it. incredibly. It builds to such an incredibly sad moment towards the end, and it feels like we earned the right to follow more of Sarah's story. Yeah. Like, there's a point that cuts off between her being a very, very little girl and her being pretty much an adult, where it continues on in little bits and spurts. And I was like, yeah, I kind of. I wasn't really done with Sarah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and yeah. It felt, felt robbed. It sounds yeah. one of those frustrating movies because I, I was with you there with uh, Julie and Julia. Yeah. As much as I love Amy Adams, sure. like, her, her story just wasn't appealing to me. And her story, was set, her story was set in modern times. And that movie overall just made me feel frustrated. Yeah. And not, it didn't help that at the screen we saw the filming up backwards and upside down, too. But uh, <laughs> that didn't happen here, dude. That did not happen uh, here. But, yeah. did, did you feel that same sense? of? I mean, was it just like, ah, oh, you know, I can take this other story and leave it but it's a story that's really fascinating me or was it like I'm really frustrated with this film because I can't stick with the one that I want to see the, the, the thing is that the, the, you know the, the story about Sarah was just so much more fascinating the Kristen Scott Thomas story it just it just wasn't that you know it's like okay yeah she's she's finding the pieces she's connecting the survivors trying to get them to the story but it's just like if there was just a movie about that it wouldn't be that interesting yeah mm. and where and where it ends up it's not all that satisfying. I, I felt like I was kind of, I partially, I hate to say I have partially blamed Kristen Scott, Scott Thomas because she plays the character in kind of a, I don't know, emotionally banal state through most of it. I'm just, it's just not interesting. Watch her go through the emotions. I never got a feeling from her performance of a sense of like, I'm so into this and I'm obsessed with this. Right. I feel like the script wanted to get that across, but I never felt like she really did get that across to me. Yeah. So I just wasn't concerned with her part of it. Stalzinski Vanislav, Stalzinski Rimka, deported and executed at Auschwitz 1942. No Sarah, no Michelle. The Stalzinski children are not on any of the list of deportees, neither in Poland nor at Drancy. I'm sure they escaped. Jules, you're, you're obsessing. Well, wouldn't you be? These people could be anywhere. They may still be alive. Okay, and what are you going to do? Give them back their flat? Yeah, why not? Okay. Um, I would just let sleeping dogs lie, yeah? I mean, it wants you to say, look how important this is to this woman that she's literally, her marriage is falling apart, partially because she's obsessing so much on this story. It's paralleling her own issues with her pregnancy. uh, And yet you don't feel that at all. Well, there's also the element of like, hey, this is big family secret that only the father-in-law knows about. Oh, this gets revealed. It's going to tear the family apart. We got to hold this together. But... It kind of doesn't. No. You know, it's like he didn't want to say anything, but once he does, 
Everybody's like, oh, well, it's not as bad as I thought. Spoiler! No. <laughs> you can't put versus, you know, that whole, oh, well, you know, whatever, versus the fucking Nazis putting people in concentration right. camps and running across <laughs> the little kids survive, barely surviving, running well, across the countryside. You know what? I'm fascinated now because... Uh, it's it's you, based on a super popular book. Yeah. yeah. Oh, no, I, I read that. that is, uh, and I'm not going to even try to... Well, you didn't read the book, book but... Uh, 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 <laughs> no, there were no, no pictures in that book. <laughs> no, I, I was willing to put money. Is down. there an audio book? <laughs> was, Maybe I'll listen to that. The only picture they had was just the key on the cover. That was, that was <laughs> yeah. good morning. Is, no, is Captain America? I, in it? I, 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 I imagine the book is very emotional. Well, yeah. and, and no, it's, no. I've read, I've read about the book and heard how just popular this book is. Of course, it was going to be made into a movie at some point, which you know brings me to answer because I, I, at one point, you got me saying, hey, you know, I'll let this pass. But then another time, you make me say. I, I really want to see this, and, and that's that's exactly how. So, the movie I mean, is. what, what yeah. would you recommend that I do then? What what should I do? <laughs> you should go see a matinee. <laughs> <laughs> the captain said that movie. That movie wasn't all that Don't great. You try to pass that title <laughs> no, off I'm on saying me. the captain said. Uh, okay. I approve. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only a private matinee. <laughs> okay. right. Yeah, it's you know what it, it's it's one of those. It makes it hard to tell you what to do yeah. because it is like. It maybe it does wash out to a matinee because you got like a full price movie and a rental sandwich together fighting for the title. Yeah. So it just comes mm-hmm. out to being yeah, kind of a matinee. Should I wait for a fan edit? Maybe. That would be too short. Be like, oh, too short. That's this good. Morning. I hate to I'm say busy. It, but the Christian Scott Thomas sequences could have used some Jar Jar Banks. Wow. <laughs> Here come the Nazis! Oh no! Oh the put I think you should know the whole story. Why are you doing this? Because it's right. 